Yes, my people, vice president, the Labour Party vice president candidate Peter Obi second to finally come out to come finish APC and analyze APC matter for the interview way in go. He don't chop APC, he don't let us know say APC not get structure. APC not get anything to offer Nigerians. Say na Labour Party. Now he gets something to offer Nigerians. Labour Party president, that is Peter Opi. Now he gets something to offer president, offer Nigerians. Say APC and PDP not get anything to offer Nigerians. So he don't talk for the interview. He don't analyze everything. The reason and the reason why he talk on. So that's why I said, okay, I watch this video. May I not talk too much. I watch this video. Please, if today is your first time coming across this page, share this video, like this page, and follow. Thank you. That's right. Pleasure and duty once again. Yeah. How do you feel? The final three days, I feel energized. Um, more and more political parties, not just key individuals, are coming into our fold running into our warm embrace and sharing our lofty ideas for Nigeria. Um, ADC yesterday, the Governor Autumn of the Benue State. These are people who make the difference. Right now, you cannot count 12 states in Nigeria that we cannot command 25% and above. But above all, and gladdens my heart so much that uh, from my first submission of this fact in Lagos, that out of 18 political parties who filed presidential candidates, um, more or less it is correct to say that th um, 15 have fallen behind. Out of the three left, two have misconfigured themselves. They have fallen out of alignment with the dictates of winning elections in Nigeria. By that I mean, why today Tinubu is not the vice president of Nigeria? Is the same reason he cannot be president. What couldn't happen in 2015? when the then candidate Buhari asked for any nomination whatsoever from Tinubu, because that configuration has passed. It can no longer work in what, Nigeria. What kind of configuration are you talking about? Showing sure you know. Don't make me say it. Please do. I mean, what configuration are you talking about? Muslim, because I'm not, I mean, I'm Muslim, not Muslim ticket cannot work anymore. You've made me say it. Now, I don't like to speak about tribe or religion. Show. Now, I was not clear about it. You that know? configuration cannot work anymore. And by, since you made me say it, I must go back a little then. Give me just three minutes to tell Please you. Go ahead. There is issue of faith on this. The creator of heavens and earth does not make mistakes. This is Federal Republic of Nigeria, as duly filed at the United Nations and registered too. It's not the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, for example, or the Vatican, or Iran, or Libya, or Mauritania. It's a federal republic, and God didn't make mistake by putting all of us, 250, you find other countries, nearly 100%, one faith, one language, one group, not the same in Nigeria. 250 at least, and two big competing religions. And we say that it's not a mistake from our creator. Then his verse is followed that we must do justice to each other. Then our political history followed afterwards. 79 of us, Hongi Shagari, um, Babangida to Shoneko, um, Abu Salam to Obasanjo, Obasanjo to Litmala Umaru, to Jonathan, back to Wuhan. This is the fourth DNA of Nigeria. That DNA regulates our body temperature. Without it, our body overheats and we die from that fever. So these two political parties have misaligned with the issue of faith and political history of Nigeria. They are simply on the ballot paper. They are not in the ballot box. They are wasting our time. 
they are, well, it's good they have the money to spend if they get the mineral notes. They have kept that money for this rainy day. They have the money to spend, so spend it, but that's all they are doing. There's only one political party that is in place, rightly configured, rightly staffed, rightly equipped, rightly, um, how can I say, energized and motivated for winning 2023 presidential elections. We didn't engage in violence. We suffered it. We didn't engage in abuses. We suffered it. We said the right things. We talked about issues. We, we can tell you directly what we'll do with the uh, subsidy scam. We can tell you what we'll do with exchange scam. And another thing you will see is that when we win, inshallah, we're not coming after Chinumbo and Atiku. We're going after the terrorists and the bandits. We're not going after any politician. We're going after the corrupt officials. And um, there is a systematic way we'll do it. We'll stop the corruption, make sure that it's not happening in our own, before you go after anybody. Not the other way around like they did this time around and failed uh, in 2015. And you're not worried about corruption fighting back when that time comes? I'm not worried because we'll, def we'll defeat it. When you fail against corruption, it's because you're corrupt. I'm very, very confident about it. There are two reasons. If you collected too much money and you feel indebted to the extent that the appointments you have to look the other way and appoint all sorts of characters, again, like it happened, I don't have to tell you there. And if you yourself are corrupt and in need of... Peter Abi doesn't need anything else in this world. I'm too modest to say the same, but I can say about him. He belongs to the club that... Uh, what else is he going to get in this world? Anyway? You mean he's wealthy enough that he doesn't really... He is need... thankful enough. There is nothing, there is nothing you will point to in this world that he hasn't already had it when he was much younger. And he doesn't need any more. What, what he needs now is, like I always say, stupid killings in Nigeria. That's what I need. So is it because Stop people have enough? That's the reason why they don't...